And now we're ready to uh, actually start making our, uh, our first files. Uh, so you'll remember that when you uh, return uh, a result from main, uh, you see you type out uh, you know the success case and uh, whatever kind of uh, error uh, you would like to uh, or you have to return. Uh, there's something interesting with uh, with uh, standard uh, I/O, which is what we're using to uh, to make files. Uh, you know, most of everything is under standard I/O, and it's this uh, result type uh, that looks like this. So standard I/O result, and then you just put in a uh, an empty tuple. And then that's it. And you know that's going to make you wonder what's going on here because uh, uh, this is uh, you know what's the, where's the error case? Uh, how come uh, how come there's no nothing after the empty tuple? And the reason why is that uh, there's uh, they actually take care of it uh, for you. So if you go to uh, uh, standard I/O uh, result, there we go. So this uh, this is actually a type alias. So if you look at this, um, <clears throat> all it is is a uh, so type result equals uh, result t error. So this is the the actual type, and the reason why they they take it out um, from our view is uh, just for convenience because uh, this uh, this error that they have uh, basically takes care of uh, everything, and uh, for all of the um, all of the uh, the methods and uh, and types you usually see when you uh, when you're opening and and working with files. So uh, and if if you click on this, actually, you can see um, let's see standard I/O error, and it has this uh, this error kind uh, enum over here, and you can see they have uh, all these uh, you know all these uh, possibilities. So there's not found, and you know maybe the connection was reset, uh, already exists. So all the uh, all the things that uh, that could happen, um, and it also says it's intended to grow over time. I don't think it's been growing for a long time. I, I think it's pretty much uh, maybe done, but it says uh, maybe you shouldn't uh, shouldn't actually match against it because uh, maybe it'll change, and uh, so they're kind of like taking care of everything basically. So uh, that is uh, that's the result that you return, uh, and then there's also um, Let's see. Uh, what there are basically three uh, three areas you want to know about uh, with uh, working with files, and that is um, so. There's this module um, stdfs, and fs is uh, for file system manipulation, and this is where you get um, you know things like the, uh, the file type, uh, open options. This is for uh, opening files with some more uh, configurations, and then. Um, and then there's also uh, these uh, these two uh, structs, and one is uh, where where is it? Not structs. I meant traits. Um, so there's the read trait, and there is the write trait. Where did the write trait go? Write trait. Wait, should be standard I/O write. I think. There we go. Standard I/O write. So these uh, these are what give the uh, the file the uh, the ability to uh, to do stuff. Essentially, uh, if you go to uh, the file struct, you can see uh, down here in the trait implementations, it has uh, it has read and it has write. So read is going to let you um, uh, you know open um, well read uh, read what's inside of a file, and uh, write is going to let you uh, write things to it. And we are going to uh, start with this. Uh, write all method uh, and also file uh, let's see create which is this is basically how you make a a new file file create so uh, we can do that uh, so first we want to bring in uh, fs so all the uh, all the functions there and then uh, we're going to write things to our file so we'll bring in write the write trait and then we'll uh, start a um, a new file so to do that, uh, you go fs file, and uh, that uh, create function that we just saw, and uh, this just takes a uh, a string. You give it a uh, a file name. So my my life my file name dot text. <clears throat> so that's the name of the file, and because we're returning a result, we can uh, we can do this and use the question mark operator, and uh, we know it's going to work. Uh, and if it didn't, it would tell us uh, nicely without panicking. 
and uh, write all by the way where is uh, write all again write all so this takes a um, a slice of bytes and you can see that here because bytes are a uh, it's a reference to uh, to u8 um, and the way you do that is you just put a, a B in front of a, a string so uh, in front of a static string <clears throat> that we're giving it so all we have to do is say B and uh, let's uh, put this in the file like that and then uh, that uh, is you know also a result so we'll put the question mark there and then at the very end um, don't forget to give it a, a funny looking OK because you know it's still waiting for a result here. Uh, this uh, you know if this works, um, you know this could uh, this could be an error and then it'll get uh, this result. This could uh, be an error and then it'll still get a result. But then at the end here, uh, it's you know returning an empty tuple and uh, it, we we told it's going to be a result with uh, with this if it works. So we're saying if we get uh, down to here. Then here you go. Here's your uh, here's the result that I told you I'm going to give you. It's a result of uh, of empty tuple. So if you uh, do that, then um, then it works. And uh, actually, let's go to uh, this uh, this thing again, um, so we can actually see the file. So let's go to let's see where are we? CD. Hello there. And then. Put that in and then let's run it and it's going to build it and I think it should go down here when it's done kind of slow today there we go uh, so there's the uh, the file that uh, we said uh, we're going to create so uh, it's called my file name .txt, which is right and then here is the uh, the thing that we used uh, write all for so it took uh, it did it successfully, and uh, so that is uh, basically how you uh, how you open a file and write something to it. And there's actually an even easier way to do it, and uh, I think that's coming up in the next video.